Uh, it's gonna be a mage versus warrior here. Okay, it's interesting to see that uh, Gara, like uh, a lot of people, pick the uh, mage first. Uh, as from Gara, they feel like it's the weakest deck, but it's interesting because Gara is every time uh, picking still the warrior first. Yeah, and I mean we see that Gara. I haven't actually seen this mage before, but it seems like an aggro mage. Uh, I have seen this mage before, and this is just uh, one of a total counter hunter mage. It has arcane missiles. It has, uh, as you see, also mirror images. It's it's um, it's it looks like uh, the echo mage that we saw also at BlitzCon. Uh, I guess it should be pretty bad against Warrior. I've, uh, it is a bit bad, but he has some uh, really good win condition. He also plays Antonidas in this deck, but okay. makes the matchup way better. Okay. But yeah, cards like Arcan missiles. What will it do against an Armor Smith or against no. the Echolite? It's. I mean, it's, it doesn't do anything. It's a bit like uh, a bit of a dead draw, and as you see here is the Armor Smith and. I guess the mirror image is actually pretty good against all the weapons. Yeah, it, it takes the spot away from the weapons, but... But like still, like you said, what is... Mm -hmm. Armor Smith is extremely yeah. good against this deck, and he has one already. And as you see, like, uh, Gara is really uh, running also a lot of uh, cheap minions like the Undertakes. Also, Water Elemental what, uh, was a really uh, big minion uh, in his matchup before against the Warrior, what won yeah. in that matchup. So I, you see, he has a really bad hand now with all the spells and. Did yeah. you see what secret um, Gara uh, had? It was a counter spell, if I'm right. Okay, he so opts yeah. to kill off the armor smith. He has the frost bolt and he has the mana to ping, so I guess it's just better to do it now. It's I always think he has get to. Bad. Like it's turn three or turn four. How can you? You can't ignore the uh, armor no. smith at this. Yeah. Did we did we, did we see the mage uh, Gara against uh, Sixo? I guess he banned it or. Um, I'm not sure, actually. Oh, this is why you see the Kirims now. It's just like it gives the tempo in this mage deck, and that is important to yeah, get a free mage without, is, yeah. it's a free mage. It's an extremely mm -hmm. good card if you're playing a lot of secrets. Mm -hmm. The value it's it's actually like it's a three mana card for and you get six six mana value. Which is pretty okay. insane. Wow, the mirror image they are taking a lot of weapon damage. First yeah. the fire Rorax, now the... But it does mean uh. that uh, Mirari is going to draw at least one extra card off that Acolyte. Yeah. And that is always scary. Oh, uh, another, like, another secret. And he has already the counter spell out, so... Yeah, it's I mean, he... That is probably the worst draw in his deck right now. Yeah, well, it's doesn't fit anything and yeah you still has the Echolite on board yeah the, you are not gonna arc in missiles no this. you're not gonna arc in yeah, missiles yeah I think it's just it is a really slow pay and yeah you well, I guess now you can three damage yeah, is, three is damage it worth the face. is it worth it <laughs> I, I, I think I you wait to the Antonidas like he's really behind in this matchup he really has to draw into his Antonidas yeah and then the arc in missiles have some I mean then it's actually something. pretty good value you mm -hmm. get a fireball for one mana but I think uh, in this spot like Quarry is is really ahead now and yep. with this hand it's not like the warrior has the best hand now ever but Ooh, if you s wow he actually fireballs the face i think he wanted to do something with what is what was left with this mana and he just hopes he draws like a water elemental maybe the antonidas something like oh, that the coin gets yeah. counter spelled that's always so sad yeah <laughs> coin so failure mirari like if he does that you kind of know he wants to play another spell because he always he could have coined the other turns. He also just wanted to know maybe what like maybe he was scared of a duplicate or something yeah. like that. We, I don't think Dagara plays it, but this also gives him perfect knowledge about mm -hmm. the last uh, secret that yeah. he's already t tested for duplicate. He's tested for I mean it couldn't be counter spell because there was already yeah. a counter spell. Um, so he knows it's mirror entity. He doesn't know what the second secret is. But I think he expects the counter spell. Well, yeah. Well, likely, but he he I, gu I guess. Mm -hmm. But he can be really like he has uh, the low tap, but he has the Zavanas also, uh, Grom or Alex next turn. But you are scared for that. Uh, for he that doesn't. Mirror, he that's... doesn't have a, an extremely good minion to test or just just to bait out. Maybe the, the big entity. game hunter. And the big game hunter is the best for sure. And then you, yeah, but you can't shield slam it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't have a way to kill it right now. Yeah. 
I think it's right. Just stall the game and wow. <laughs> That's not the draw that uh, no. Gar is looking for. Gar is re lo really looking for his Antonidas now. That is the only way that he can get. Does he run any of... other big minions? Do you yeah. know? Water Elementals is what he runs. Water, so elementals. water elementals can help. But it's, it's, it's kind still of a not weird enough. mana curve though. Yeah. Nothing until turn 7. Just water elemental mm -hmm. into Antonidas. Yeah. So he actually drew the second shield slam, so now he has the the yeah. the means to mm -hmm. actually kill off the big game hunter and after I, I think it's the right play with all these expensive minions, you really want of to get course. wrecked of the of the secrets now and And you're actually really safe at yeah. eighty or twenty life even. You also see Gara keeping that card already really long, so the mage has one card in hand. Now two, but do you do your arcane missiles here? I don't know. It's it doesn't give you much. It denies for damage, but I still think you have to wait for the Antonidas. The chance like, is so low, though. Yeah, but what is this other win condition? I guess there is no way to win if you don't draw it. So might as well wait. Mm -hmm. You're at 30 life. It's not like the big game hunter is actually threatening your life. Mm -hmm. So I mean, there's there might not. Okay. He really goes for the aggressive play. I'm not sure I like this because you know that the warrior is running Alexstrasza. So just trying to ping him down, it doesn't really... Yeah. Mirari knows he's played both fireballs now as well. Yeah, he doesn't have to be really there's, scared There's anymore no way burst. you're scared of actually dying. Mm -hmm. As long as... He, I don't know if Mirari actually knows the exact deck list. As I long think as he, he stays above 10. What I know from Irari is that he really did his research uh, today. So okay. I, I think he really... At least he knows the things like what uh, Secret Gara is running. And he knows yep. it's the Antonidas in this deck. So yep. he did his research well, I think. But I mean, if Gara didn't show like all the 30 cards, you might mm -hmm. be still afraid yeah. of like a Pyroblast. Especially in decks like this, uh, with aggro decks, you would never see all the 30 cards. No, exactly. <laughs> it's always like 15 and you, you think, oh, he's playing that and that, but yeah. you're never really sure. Loot Hoarder could yeah. be good, it could draw you into anything, but it's probably too late. Are you going to ping your own Loot Hoarder to get a card? I mean, <laughs> do you have a choice? I guess it's a like it's a target for Ragnaros. Yeah. It might stall a turn. The Ragnaros was like a really good draw for Gara. Like, yep. Just get um, some tempo in this game. I mean, it's looking extremely good for Mirari. But I mean, the hard counter to Aggro Mage is Warrior. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And especially, like, if Gara had a really good early game with his Undertakers, with Lutars, with Mad Scientist, then it yep. called me sense. Then it's harder. But yeah, and Gara had the responses. You saw that he, had, he started with a Death Spite, he started with a uh, Fiery War Axe, he had the Armor Smith, like, yep. that are also the Acolyte. And and this is this is kind of the problem with Agro Mage, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw the fish you doing mm -hmm. extremely well. It's just but it's like in the worst situation, you go a one-one, and it's so when strong. it's a best of five, you don't have mm -hmm. to win the first game, mm -hmm. and that is why people pick it. Like, mm -hmm. okay, and he goes with the Paladin into the Warrior. Yep. What do you feel? Is the Paladin or the Warrior favorite in this matchup? I mean, I always felt that the Paladin has a stronger matchup. The way that the warrior wins, though, is by drawing a lot of cards. And I mean, this is always so sad as the paladin when you see the coin acolyte into your hero. But he power. does have the iron yeah. the owl. He has to silence it, otherwise it yep. just gets out of control. He will most likely get three cards out of it. Yeah, and I mean, it now it only trades one for one, which is, and it gets rid of the coin. So it's pretty strong play mm -hmm. by Gara, and it's a pretty interesting tech into a paladin deck to play the iron beak owl. Mm -hmm. Well, you see always Paladins, they really want to just run at least one Silence yep. Spellbreaker and the yeah. all is, some people uh, think the all is better just because of the mana curve and it fits a bit better with... Uh, Alright, so I guess he plays a f another 4 drop like Senjin. I can, okay. I, can see, I can see the owl being good. You don't really have that many 2 drops that you actually want to run in a Paladin. It's like Pyromancer. Yeah. People were tacking in like... A haunted creeper. Yeah, but that was like more that. against the aggro decks, yeah. I think, on the letter. Oh yeah, Kodo is really good on this turn. It's he doesn't get the one he no. wants. You want the armor smith, yep. but it doesn't really matter mm -hmm. that much. Oh, what a good draw from uh yep. perfect from draw. Right there. Like it's the perfect response. <sighs> yeah, what what are we gonna see? I mean 
You don't want in this matchup when it goes really control heavy. You don't want to play Zovanos on empty board. You always want no. to play it into an, uh, a carry, maybe the Tyrion or oh yeah. Well, for the warrior it's different, but we see the Sludge Belcher. I mean, it trades right into the weapon, but at least the uh, the one two Sludge is threatening to kill the the armor smith. But we see another Sludge Belcher. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Lay on Hands, that's always a good card in this matchup because you know it's going to go very late. And Lay on Hands the is only one of the ways you win this matchup. Yeah, the only thing you have to take care about is that so this matchup, not always, but can really go to Fatty Q. And then it's sometimes you don't even want to uh, play the Lay of Hands because it yeah. just gets you faster into that point. But I that, think at this true. moment, I think at this moment it is like a really good draw. Yep. Oh, he almost gets value out of the mind control tech. Almost. Just, needs just one, one more minion. <laughs> one, one more minion. <laughs> oh, oh uh, Harrison. Harrison Jones. That's always great against the warrior. We saw uh, the death spider already used, but yep. yeah, he's running. Uh, the most of the warriors running four weapons. We've he's actually seen a lot of Gorhal here, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, uh, Mirari plays a Gorhal. I'm Does really he? sure. Yeah, Mirari plays a Gorhal, and I think Gera knows that. Yeah, so I, I mean, I mean, if you know mm -hmm. that he's playing a Gorhal, mm -hmm. then I. Pretty sure Gara knows that yeah. he's playing Gorhal, seeing he's in, he's mm -hmm. in the group. So he might just keep it until the Gorhal comes, because yeah. I mean, normally in in a normal Paladin Warrior matchup, you're gonna get to at least 25, 24 cards. And I mean, as soon as you draw Gorhal in this matchup, it's gonna be played. Yeah, and that's just the way it is. Well, I mean, maybe. Gorhal, well, I think Mirari knows so too that uh, Gara is playing a Harrison. You see, in Gara's deck well, is really interesting. He plays Uzu, he plays Harrison in a lot of decks. You yep. see that he's really trying to to limit the weapon yeah use. I mean it's pretty smart I mean mm. I didn't really think about I didn't think there was gonna be that much warrior here well I was uh, I, I thought there were already that there will be a lot of warrior and the only reason uh, for that was that mage is popular and just to yeah. it's so a favorable matchup but okay. I guess just because you can have five mm. decks then Warrior is a good pick. Um, for warriors and in this format, Warrior is good. A lot of people first pick Warrior, but Warrior is still able to really get a good series off. You can also win unfavorable matchups for the. I mean, I think that we're gonna see from the top eight that are gonna come. I think six or seven are, are gonna run Warrior. I mean, yeah, it's likely. It's I think it's like 80 or not. Nah, maybe that's too much. Maybe 75 of the yeah. percent of the people are running Warrior, which is actually pretty insane. Oh, and the mind control text on the board, and he has no way to remove it. No. He can trade with the spell breaker, but, but that's not the greatest. <laughs> no. well, mm. I don't actually know, because this the the mind control tech gets a really good trade with the one one. Mm -hmm. Even better, I mean, he doesn't even have to trade now, and then he just kills the spell breaker with the weapon. So, do you want to cut on this? You know that the warrior is running a card like Echolite of Pain, and the best response to an Echolite of Pain is, is by just code like no card draw at all. Also to an armor smith or siphon soul, you don't yeah. get any card. I agree with totally soul. with Gar's play here by just keeping the code. Also with yep. his humility, it can. Yeah, get I like the I like the lay of hands. Yeah. Lay of hands is yeah. so good when it's like played. Mm -hmm. as he has board control. Mm -hmm. It's like. Well, the board control is not really big. What do you do against big, this? Yeah. I mean, it's not great, but no. he has it. It has enough, especially in this control matchups. And like, what do you do against screen. lay of hands? You draw three cards. Yeah, and I think uh, the Kodo is just, also with the humility, it can just get rid of an Alex so you humility it, and then you just play the Kodo. Yep. Just, he has good combos with it. Um, okay, I think true Silver here, trade with the 1-1, one, one, and yep. just trade yeah, with the man control into gives it. Gives him a really good trade. You're really scared of playing the uh, Tyrion. I mean, all warriors run faceless. All the warriors. Mo the most of the warriors do, yeah. Almost all warriors, mm -hmm. I guess. And, and also, almost all warriors run yeah. Black Knight. Yeah, so... Especially nowadays when everyone runs Sludge Belcher in like every deck. Black Knight is just too strong. Yeah. Well, the Black Knight is like, it's a really good response into Ethereum, but you still get your... Uh, yeah, you still your, get the weapon. Yeah. But and mo most of the time you just want the weapon, because the weapon is better than Tyrion himself. And 15 damage weapon. <laughs> yeah. In these control matchups, it is really important. You see the hand with, yeah. It's like Gorhal. Yeah, but it's ah, you it's see the Wild it's a, it's a bit worse than Gorhal. Okay, he's even going to consecrate that. Interesting. 
Is that really worth it? Like, Consecrate for a 1 2. You can just clear the. Like, okay, you get uh, 5 yeah, I don't, damage. I don't really get board. why you would Consecrate there. Mm -hmm. Oh, another death fight. Is the Harrison gonna come out here? I wonder. I don't. I don't think it's. Do, or I don't do, know, you, do it's you like if he knows that there is a the Gorhal? The Gorhal. I guess you just save it. But okay, he goes for it. Well, maybe you're just better. Well, okay, Spellbreaker can be really important. Like yep. if you want to play your Tyrion next turn, you have a response if he has the. Faceless. If he has the faceless, yeah. So I think he's really too happy to just see the. Uh, spell Breaker in, yep. in his hand now. It is, this basically means that he can play Terry next turn. Yeah. Like I actually think he's he's thinking about should he attack with the weapon. I think. I he's guess he doesn't have to attack this turn. He I could attack next turn. I think he's also considering Senji, and he, he probably knows that there is a Black Knight. Like the yeah. Mirari is playing always the card that he drew the last two or three turns. Yeah. So he has some dead cards, and a Black Knight is a card that you are keeping in this matchup. But I mean, he could maybe play it. Like if he played it this turn, then the Tyrion was also yeah, stronger. Because we see that it would get Black Knighted. But I mean, I, I would definitely play it if you're thinking about playing uh, Senjin, uh, uh, Tyrion next turn. Then I think Senjin was a great play that turn. See, and, and yeah. he's he instantly picks up the Tyrion. So he he's doesn't even hero power. Wow, interesting. I think he plays around Brawl. He did it against me too. Like not hero powering to play around Brawl. So it's really smart. Like what is the one one doing, especially against a warrior that runs armor smith and acolytes. Ooh. Oh, he's big. Oh, oh, that's a smart play. Wow, I like that's this. That's like, a great The play. big game hunter has no value in this matchup, and now he makes. He just well, makes if you like some paladins mm -hmm. run uh, big game hunter, I guess. I mean, uh, Ragnaros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay, do you have a consecrate now? Consecrate with is a great weapon. Here. Yeah, it's amazing. Mistake. Mistake. Didn't it wanted to play equality? Oh, he's, maybe? he's thinking about equality, pi but you still want to. It's still silence. fine. Well, he you would still silence, though. Yeah, you still don't want to give him the 5 3 weapon, but maybe he was considering by just. No, but you you can actually quality Pyromancer first, because the Tyrion wouldn't die because of the. Uh, the spell break. The, yeah, the Divine Shield. The Divine Shield, it wouldn't die. So you could actually Spellbreaker afterwards. He takes the 6 damage now, what can be really important. But the uh, good mean, thing for Gaara is that he has his weapon out and the warrior doesn't. There is so much heal left in the Paladin deck. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be worried at 21 life to be honest. No, no, not at all yet. And there is the Gaara, as we see, that's a really important draw. Like, he can start by clearing the minions now from Gaara. Yep. I wonder Gaara if he's going to clear the 1-1s, one -one. probably not. But well, for the if other you have ones. Acolyte, I don't think. Oh, and there is the Kodo, man. This the is a Kodo for value. sure. The warrior is only two cards, so just denying his card draw is so good. And you see good. Mirari smirking yeah, a bit. He knows. Like, he knows he needed mm -hmm, that to get mm -hmm, back in the yeah. game. And now he has some, yeah. The Goral is nice because it can get rid of the powerful minions that are on the yep. board now, but... Yeah, you don't want to play the Black Knight. Armorsmith. Armorsmith is okay. Like, it takes 5 damage from the weapon. What did he draw? That's a pretty uh, good draw. Shield block, yeah. Gets you some cycle. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. the Brawl. Well, it's not a board <laughs> that you really no, want to brawl yet, but... It's like one minion and a bunch of 1-1s. One one it, it gives you good flexibility uh, into yep. the next turns. I think I would have played the armor smith there. I mean, why not? Mm. It might even take a 5-2 hit, but I, I maybe not. Maybe he thinks... Yeah. Maybe he wants the armor smith brawl, and yeah, the armor smiths... The, the, they always well, just survive. Just survive the brawl, and yeah. You That's win the, the brawl. <laughs> general Hearthstone knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> According to Kit Kats. Yeah. Yeah, playing Acolyte, I agree with that. And I mean, even a Brawl is not that powerful. Yeah, it kills a lot a four, of the board. You get a four mana minion and a three mana minion. Yeah. The only good thing with the Brawl is that it's the Acolyte doesn't get any. I don't think he's or, gonna Brawl. I mean, he has the Black uh, Knight. Black Knight is a perfect response. Well, I guess he does Brawl. brawl. I guess the one play? ones they they might get out of control though. I mean, there's always gonna be a lot of one ones. Mm -hmm. And there is a, a still a, there is still a one one. Do you, Do kill you it? Tell it, attack it with nah, one? It's of not gonna kill no. it. No. No. I don't think. Nah, it's the right play. 
Ooh, Aldor. That's a good. That's yeah. a good tactic. Yeah, Mirari is a bit like he still has the uh, LX, he still has the ROM, he has the uh, rack, he has still a lot of big threats left in his deck. He just doesn't didn't really draw yeah, into but them yet. By this point, you know that Paladin has mm -hmm. at least one uh, equality. Mm -hmm. I mean, he hasn't used a single Alder Peacekeeper. He hasn't used Humility. Ooh, Karen! Wow, that's that is a card that he won, especially after the brawl. Yep. Uh, so I think it's fine. Double equality. Yeah, like, you just equality yeah. here. Play Karen. Hero power. I think Karen is too good now. Well, he well, still has the weapon. Like he needs to play around the ground with the Kratos Master, or at least some. Even way to like it's not like because he's already played one Kratos Master. The chance of that is pretty low. But yeah, even but if he didn't heal yeah. or uh, taunt, even like a shield slam would do it. So if mm -hmm. he topped it, Grom here, he would die if he yeah. didn't play a heal. But we Fire see that Rx. it's a fair Not the best draw when you have the guard out already exactly. out. Exactly. I mean, that's just useless uh, right here. Oh man. Well, I think it feels a bit bad for Mirari that he draws. Like, he has so much cards left in his deck. Yeah. The powerful minions yep. like the Grum, like the Rack. And yep. He really has to draw into them. Oh, too. and that's a good card. It just brings him way out of range for anything that Mirari can top deck right here. Yeah, but there is no reason really to use it. There is no. No, I mean at no 18 you're combo. safe, yeah. especially with a taunt as well. Okay, now he plays uh, his minion out, and I wonder if Gara's considering a double. Like we see some double brawls. I think Gara's We've only seen a playing lot of one double brawl. Yeah, I think Gara plays with only one brawl, but he's probably considering that. But wow, I mean, it's Mirari draws. that's playing the warrior, so. Yeah. Wow, these draws, man. <laughs> these weapons, then. No, nah, he's wow. just. <laughs> Okay, Guardian of Kings is always good. In always a like great this, card. Yeah. I guess you just. I think he's gonna yeah. play it here. Yeah, I mean, it's there's just no a reason. powerful minion, and if he had the brawl, he will probably use it into the Karen Ascension. And these one ones, man, they deal like how much damage did he get from one ones already now? From just the uh, Paladin hero power. I mean, it's it's great in a control matchup. In an aggro matchup, mm -hmm. it yeah. sucks, but. Oh, and there is the Grom, like, it's a powerful minion, what, what are you going to do with it now at this uh, point of the game, man? It's it's too late. Yeah, it feels too late, yeah, like... Yeah, I guess this is the only way you could ever win, yeah. you just go face I, I with totally your weapons. I totally agree with this play, yeah. like, going for the face, and you know a Paladin runs a lot of heal, but you saw the Lay of Hands, you saw the uh, Guardian of Kings just yep. played. He realizes that this is the only chance, I mean, the Paladin is actually going to take some time to kill you. He's gonna live at least one more turn. And every minion that the warrior's gonna play now will get really low, like two alders in reality, like... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, Ragnaros is okay, I guess. That's the only good minion you have left. But when Mirari sees this, he might just concede, yeah. like... Ah, you never concede. No, of like, course not. You can go, like, if he top decks Rack, it goes to the face, and you could toss, get a Kratos Master top deck after I that. Guess. There's that's, I mean, that's that's actually 11 damage. Yeah, he, oh man, he even wants to play around the Ragnaros, for example, like, <laughs> getting so much 1-1s one and useless minions. I mean, th there's no other reason to play the 3-3. Three, three. I guess he is actually he, playing around the Ragnaros. Yeah, and he's also maybe... Sa oh... I Ooh, there's a Kratos Master. Do you go for it, guys? I guess you go for it now, and then if you draw a rag next Ooh. turn. Wow. <laughs> Man. Yeah, if he draws... Oh, he's, wow, Garrus. Actually... Garrus almost out of cards, so I didn't even notice that. But that's what we said earlier. Like, if you play a Lay of Hands in a control yep. matchup, you can go r running out of cards really fast. Oh, yes. Yeah, and there's oh, Lethal there already. Oh, there was Lethal. Yeah. Oh, he chose that. Doesn't want to give him the last damage. That I guess goes that's out. why he played yeah. the three. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of card draw, because you you can actually do that if if you get an acolyte and they play the the hero power. I mean, you almost get instantly two cards. Yeah. Okay, this is interesting. Like, this is a match of uh, people favor the warrior and uh, the the druid, and other people favor the paladin. It's an yeah, really I think it's it's quite even. It depends mm -hmm. a lot on the paladin draw, I think. But also, like, we see the starting end with the wild growth and the lore. Like, a lore is so important yeah, in the this lore, matchup. Yeah, the lore is... I mean, the lore is always important. Yeah. yeah but I actually control. think it doesn't really matter what the druid draws. If you get a quality, 
equality combos and some good early minions. All the Peacekeeper is one of the really important yes. cards to die. Get rid like yes. the Druid runs so many far attack minions and getting a just using an on turn four Yeti, turn five Spectral Knight, it's really powerful. But I mean Gara is he's gonna be able to develop both his engines, his true silver, his Lotheb, mm -hmm. and there's yeah. no pressure coming out of Mirari. Well, yes, the Spectral Knight here now. What gives him a bit? Oh, the oh. All Peacekeeper. You can just All Peacekeeper now get an extra card draw. Yeah. Wow, that yeah. was that was like the best card he could draw probably. For like, sure. Also, and, I, and Karen is great. Oh, wow, I mean, there yeah. is a silence, but yeah. But even if he keeps her, oh, he's gonna keep her. The Echolite. He's gonna no. He's gonna keep her his own four five, I guess. If he keeps her, you keep her your own mm. four. Five, yeah, the Spectral Knight. And the keeper is good for the Ecolite too. He's gonna be a bit sad when he mm -hmm. sees the uh, Karen though. But. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's painful. But I mean, I guess you do you Karen here. It doesn't seem that good though. I mean, True Silver seems extremely good here. Yeah, I'm thinking of you can. I think the True I think Silver's both is great. Oh, he just oh, wants he to play on both, curve, yeah. I guess. I'm not, I'm not sure about low tap. It can work really well later in the game when the druid. Uh, yeah, I mean the has druid just wants to play minions yeah, right now. Especially at the turn seven, you can expect a lore, and even if there is not a lore in the hand, there's are still a lot of uh, good draw. Good draw. I, I guess it. I guess it trades really well with the lore. Yeah, but then there is still the way. There's from, still two more minions yeah. on board. And then, then again, you still want to play the true silver. But we're gonna see quality consecrate come out here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Like, you have to take care of the board, especially yep. against the Druid. If you get really low on lives, it yep. can be really scary. Uh, what do we... <sighs> hmm. You want to hero power this, like... Yeah, just I mean, get rid you're of never going to leave it alive. Uh, and so I guess... I guess... That's... Ah... Why not play? Why, why not uh, play Druid the Druid? The well, I guess you, well, could, you can play Druid of the Claw Shield when Yeti next turn. Yeah, but I... I understand this play, like the Druid of the Clone to the uh, Taunt was really bad against the Black Knight. Yep. And the Druid in the charge is just a free True Silver for the True Silver. Yeah, for the True Silver. Ooh. Oh, and yeah, we, I totally agree with this play. Like, it, it sounds really risky, but you saw a Keeper used, and even if he has the second Keeper, it's still I a 6-6 I mean, six, Keeper six isn't even board. good no. against the 6-6. Six, six. Six, yeah, it's still a 6-6 six, six on the board. But yeah, the Black Knight, it's like, that's the answer you needed. Like, if he didn't have yeah. the Black Knight. I mean, oh, he uses the Innervate to taunt. Mm. Oh, wow, yeah, I totally, this is... This like, is actually really good. We see good. the Force of Naked Savage draw already in the hand, and... But we see double Senjin. I mean, yeah, is there, is there any, anything that's, like, better than this against well, what he just played? Well, he was just really scared for if he had the second equality combo, then he could clear the world board, and then it's he was... It's not lethal, still, right? I think it is. If you have... I don't think so. Well, it's hard to trade into five HP. I think you're actually one of off. Of I think you're one off. You but, I mean, you have double swipe, so you go for it anyways. Mm. Yeah, but you can also go for the double swipe, and you get rid of rid of both of the sentience, like swipe. Uh, I, both I of guess the I guess Gar has already played Lothab, so you can just go for double swipe. Yeah, I want to go for the double swipe. You uh, uh, swipe on both on the sentience. You get rid of them both. To your hero power. I mean, let's just count how much you can. I mean, the combo is, is there like any way? The combo six. is just 40 damage because you just can't yeah, trade just, better yeah, it's, than it's it. Exactly, it's 14 damage. And then I will just go with the double swipe here. I think you can expect heal from I the mean, paladin, so you want your minions on the board. Okay, he's so he's keeping I the think, double swipe. I think I would go for it, and then. Oh, this plays more around Belcher, maybe. I wouldn't do this though. Yeah, but there was no, that is what you said, like, there was no really w better way he called, just with the no. hero and with one of the force. Yeah, but I, I would like to keep one of my minions and that's 5 HP. Yeah, and and you're never really scared of Paladin Burst, like, what can they do? You see the weapon, no, exactly. but... Oh, we see a Conceit here. Yeah, the best thing that the Paladin could do with really Burst is, like, a Consecrate, and... Yeah. It's just, you never expect yeah, really I, Burst Yeah, I would have liked to Paladin. keep him, keep one of the minions at yeah. 5 HP, but, I mean, it didn't matter in this case. Yeah, but I could understand this move, like, you you don't know if the Paladin... There is the Warrior. Well, 
I yeah. said we're not gonna play mm -hmm. Warrior, yeah. but I mean, yeah, but I guess both matchups are actually kind of bad. Priest is also like uh, the way the priest can win against the Druid is with if he has the injured Blade Master with the Circle yep. combo. Like there is no way for a Druid to get rid of a four what, seven. What kind on the board. of priest is Gara running? Undertaker or Control Priest? Uh, he plays the Undertaker Priest. I'm okay. really sure he plays the Undertaker Priest. He plays it with Yashira and Mind Control to have some late game. But yep. I mean, that, that Priest is actually a lot worse against Druid, I think. But we see... I mean, uh, does wow, it get better than this? Him, man. Does, this, does wow. it get better than this? And how big is this shade gonna go, man? It's like a, the turn one shade and Scarlet Greek grow every what? turn. What? He plays shade oh. in Warrior? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays the shade in Warrior. He does... He just wants to have like, and that is also, I talked about it with Garo from where he's playing Shade and he said just, and I, I can't understand the point, like, he, it is better against the uh, Hunter uh, with just getting that menu on the board, otherwise the Hunter can get... But I mean... Yeah. I guess. What do you cut for it though? I think uh, Garo is really... Cutting the mid range range, like he doesn't play with uh, Karen and cards like I, d okay. I think. And maybe I mean, Karen is kind of hard to develop, so yeah. I, I guess that's fine. I guess we're gonna see the Fairy War Axe right here, right? I mean, you yeah, don't really I have think, another, yeah. another play. But man, the curve from Mirror is so good. Like, you had the inner fades, uh, yep. Yep. for the yeah for the shade, and then he had the Wild Grove, and next turn the, is the Druid of the I mean, color. he didn't have a 4 drop to be fair, mm -hmm. but. Okay, he attacked with the shade. What's really interesting? You see people that are using the uh, shade to let it just grow and grow and let it make really big. But he yep. attacked at turn three. What is really good? Like there is no, uh, there is no way that uh, the despite can come out. Like it's that's actually the really weak to yeah. cruel taskmaster. Yeah, it's weak to cruel taskmaster. That's true. But I mean, it does get rid of Gara's shade, but still, I mean, I don't think I would have done this. I would rather keep it, but I mean, yeah. But what is Gar gonna do now? Like he has some options with Fire War X. I think it's I think not Mirari, good. I think Mirari has X-ray and can see through the screen. He sees that Gar does not have an answer mm -hmm, to this and yeah. attacks. Because it's gonna get mm -hmm. four more damage in. Because you you have to play the free works, right? Yeah. The only painful thing now for me are can be like the, how would they start? Like he had the perfect start. Like he had everything yep. he needed. Like the tempo, what is really important but against the I warrior. Mean, he, he but he needs the card right now. He's, he needs the card right now yep. a bit, maybe. Yep. I mean, he's. A Ooh, he didn't attack at all. Are you gonna? I think he he's wants gonna, to silence it next turn. Yeah, and he's going to charge. Yeah, I totally agree. That like get the yep. tempo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In his hands, is and he you also have, has 10, you damage, have 10 in hand. damage in hand. And he's at 14 lives, man. Turn 4 for the warrior, and you're yeah, at 14 lives. Wow. But the, look at the warrior, though. Mm -hmm. I mean. Yeah, you're gonna silence he it. He has. Yeah, you're gonna silence it. Yep. And next turn, he has a shield block with shield slam, but gets him some armor to get him a bit Do you safer. kill the 4 4? Yeah, kill yeah. Two otherwise, two? it's like you need to trade with the 4 4. Otherwise, a savage draw or something like that, and I, it is almost lethal. I don't know. I might have been greedy. What did he top deck? A uh, keeper. He tra draw That's the keeper. actually pretty good. Yeah, he still keeps the minions on the board. But we're gonna see a sludge belcher come out here for sure. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, shield block, shield slam. I think you save it. Uh, yeah, and he, he, he still can save it then. He has two true. cards in hand. I don't he has think to play also some minions. Like, if you just play shield block, shield slam, now they're, th then there are coming n new minions up every yep. turn. And, but on HSP, man. If, ooh, it's it's a bit sad that he like now you really want to keep her maybe but yeah yes swipe I will also go for the refuge why just didn't to cycle. he wrath first though yeah wrath first is better like I don't think it really matters but you always want mm. to see what draw oh, 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 oh. That yeah is that's the card wow. you wanted well and only he needs only a savage draw now like oh, he's so low. Yeah, man. If he does despite he? and hero power, he's just that. He's just dead. Like he takes two damage. He takes two damage, wow. but give him five HP. He, he heroes up like. Can can Gara actually Ga see this? Gara sees it. Like you can imagine that at turn eight there is a savage raw possibility with the hero power, but I'm not sure if 
He but, can I mean, play around it. Like, you can play around it with shield block, six, shield slam, five, but. 5, 7, but. If you do that, what is your win condition? Oh, yeah. I, like, it looks really bad. Oh, and, and he already but, says, yeah, but, but I, I agree with I this agree play. I agree too. I mean, if you. Yeah. If you're gonna shield block, shield slam, and the the keeper, like, what is your win condition yeah. is left? And yeah, you see it already in the Ryder's face. He sees it, and. Yeah, there is Mirari me for advances first yeah. in the group. He went to O yesterday. He went to O today. Like, w we don't know much about Mirari, but no, you see, he really deserved him. it. Like, if you go two O in two days, then he played really well. Also, and yeah, the last game for the sure. Druid, like for sure, there was no way that Gara could get do anything against. Yeah, I mean, it. it was it was.